Hey guys, I have another haul for you, and today's haul is going to be all Yankee candles. I ended up getting three candles from the Yankee store, and then I also ended up getting three candles all from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. I figured I'd just put them all in the same video because they are fall and winter type scents that I got all around the same time. So let me just go ahead and show you guys everything I ended up getting. The first two candles that I want to talk about are Sugared Apple, and I have been on the hunt for this candle for a while now. I missed out on it last year when it came out in the Spoonful of Sugar collection. I guess it was like the most popular one and it sold out like immediately. So when I heard that they were bringing it back for this winter, I had to make sure that I ended up getting it. So I ended up going into the store and smelling it, and I have to say that this scent is very, very light. I feel like if I would have gotten this in the jar that I wouldn't have been able to smell it like at all. And in general, I've come to decide that I am partial to the two wick tumblers versus the jar. So I think from now on, even though, um, you know, the smooth wax is here, I'm still going to end up getting the two wicks just because the scent is a lot stronger. Something that I wanted to talk about with the Sugared Apple is that it was just released in this new uh, labeling, so this is brand new, but they actually decided to make it in the marbled wax, which I'm super happy about because, you know, I enjoy this wax a lot more. Something that I wanted to mention also is that I went ahead and talked to the woman that I always talk to that works in my store, and she said that they decided to make it in the marbled wax because, you know, people like the marbled wax better and they were scared that, you know, if obviously they think that they're going to sell out, that um, people would complain too much about this scent, which I thought was kind of weird. I don't know if that's true or not, but nevertheless, it is in the marbled wax just in case if you were wondering. One downfall about this besides the scent being very light is that it is in the new jar, so it actually is only 20 ounces, as you can see. So you're still paying the $27.99 for this 20 ounce candle, which kind of stinks because you're losing two ounces of wax just because it is in the marbled wax. But overall, I'm really excited to go ahead and start burning that scent. The next candle I wanna talk about is Cranberry Chutney. And I wasn't gonna buy this, but I decided to go ahead just because it is in the marbled wax and it is a two wick. This candle must be an older one just because it is in the um, older two wick jar. This is like the bigger one, you know, the little wider one and this is the new skinny one. So this one is actually still 22 ounces if you can see that. So I figured I'd just go ahead and get this and I really do like the scent as well. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have purchased it. So those are the three candles that I ended up getting from the Yankee store. Now let me go ahead and show you guys what I ended up getting from the discount stores. The first candle I want to talk about is called Sparkling Angel. And this one I ended up getting from Marshalls for $9.99. It is a two wick tumbler and it is in the marbled wax if you can see. Now whenever I go to these stores I always smell like pretty much all of the candles in there that I think will be interesting or that I have no idea what it's going to smell like. And that's how I felt with this candle. I really had no idea what it was going to smell like. When I smelled it I fell in love with it. I had no idea what was in it but I knew that I had to take it home. And as you can see, it has a gold label, and the lid is actually gold as well, if you can see that. You can probably just see my camera. Anyway, so I decided to look up the uh, description, and this has a pine in it, and it has some berries in it, and eucalyptus, I believe. And what's funny is, I actually purchased this before I went to the Yankee store and bought these candles, and they actually had this candle at the Yankee store for full price, but it was in the uh, jar only. So if you're interested in this scent, I would say go check out uh, Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and check it out before you go and try to buy it at the Yankee store. So I thought this was an awesome deal considering it's still in the Yankee store and it smells amazing. So if you're interested, which if you find it, just smell it. It's called Sparkling Angel. The next candle I want to talk about is actually a Halloween scent, and that is Cider Web. I don't believe that this was sold this year in Yankee, maybe last year, but I ended up finding it at 
TJ Maxx for $9.99. And I know I said I wasn't a big fan of the single wicks, but I really like the way this smelled, so I wanted to go ahead and get it anyway. And it just says a brew of apple cider and spice. So I love apple cider, so I really hope I'm crossing my fingers that this melts well and I love it. So that is that one. And then the last candle I ended up getting, I only saw one of these out of, you know, my trip to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. Those three stores are all in the same uh, area, like down the same street. So I went to all three in the same day. But this candle is called Christmas in Paris. Now this scent is so nice. It retails for $9.99 from Home Goods, and it is the marbled wax. So all six of these candles are in the marbled wax. But this scent, like I said, is so nice. It smells like a Christmas tree with a little bit of something more. This would definitely be something that I would be melting all throughout December and I would never get sick of it. But if you don't like pine, I would say this is not the scent for you because like I said, it smells like Christmas tree with a little bit something more. So that is Christmas in Paris. So those are the six candles that I ended up getting. If you have any requests for reviews, like I always say, go ahead and leave those requests down below and I will go ahead and make sure to make that video for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.